hi everyone welcome back to my channel and today i am going to show you how i made this really cute makeup holder i made this one specifically for grudy but i also made a second one for myself so one of my favorite things is that you can use the container separately as like a storage bin or you can just pull the drawstring bag completely out and have it be like your to-go makeup bag and uh, i just thought it was really cute so now grudy has her own little makeup set and then i can like not die every single time she uses my brush or my foundation so i made both of these completely with the fabric that i had in my craft room and also using an old amazon box so um let's go ahead and get started so first thing is first i will have to create the base of this and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna deconstruct a cardboard box so the first thing i'm gonna do is i am going to draw a circle which is going to be the base of the container and my circle is eight diameters across and I'm just going to go ahead and use a box cutter and some scissors to cut it out. Okay, so if you have a bigger box, you can do this in one long rectangle. But my box is a little bit on the short end, so I have to cut out two rectangles for this. With the width, that is going to be the height of my container. So that's going to be six and a half inches in width. Also, keep in mind that the grain line of the cardboard box is supposed to be perpendicular to the length of the rectangle. This way, you can roll it like this a lot easier and it creates a better curvature. So because I had to cut my rectangle in two pieces, if you are able to find a box where you can cut it into one piece, that's awesome. But since I had to do mine in two, I'm just going to go ahead and tape down both of them and then glue it and then tape the back as well so that it is one uniform piece. Next up, I'm going to take my rectangular piece and I'm just going to wrap it around the base of the container. And I'm going to add a lot of glue as I'm going around. Add a strip of glue and then press a strip of glue and then press and then just roll it onto the, the circle part there. And then when the ends meet up, go ahead and just tape it down and add some glue on the inside and then tape it again. Just for some extra security, I'm going to go ahead and add a nice long strip of glue inside around the edges of the circle here just to really make sure that everything is adhered together. So for this, I am going to be using red fabric for Grudy's. Hers is going to be a ladybug because she's obsessed with the show Miraculous. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to cut out the bottom of the container first out of the fabric. But I'm going to cut it out so that it is a quarter inch bigger than the original circle because that's going to be my seam allowance. So now I'm going to cut out a rectangle that is going to be um, covering the whole container. And that means I will need the circumference measurement of the container base and also the height of the container. So now I'm going to take this rectangle, fold it in half, and I'm going to sew up the end. And then I'm going to take the circle base and I'm going to pin it all the way around one side of the, the tube here. And I sew completely around and I flip that inside out one more time. And now I place the cardboard box container inside of the sewn um, casing here. And uh, make sure you stretch and make sure that everything fits nice and snugly. And so I'm just going to go ahead and add some glue to the box. And then I just fold the, the fabric right on top of it. Go ahead and repeat all of that again. And that's going to be the inside of the container. Now before I stick it into the inside of the container, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold down the overlap. And I'm going to sew completely all the way around it. So I'm going to glue the lining of the container to the container itself and then I'm just going to use a clip to just hold it in place while it's drying. So technically, if you just want a container or some kind of cute little storage, you can go ahead and make a ton of these and put it in your bathroom and just store a bunch of random stuff and you're done here. But um, because I want it to be kind of like a to-go makeup bag thingy, I'm going to go ahead and make a little drawstring bag on top of it. Pretty much, I do the same thing again. I cut out the circle and the rectangle. So basically, this whole tutorial is cutting out the circles and the rectangle like multiple times. And uh, I'm going to do it in black fabric fabric this time. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fold my black fabric over and I'm going to sew the end. I'm going to flip that baby inside out and then I pin the circle to that tube and I sew all the way around the circle. Keeping it inside out, I'm going to go ahead and fold down the, um, the raw edge here to about an inch and then I'm going to sew all the way around. 
Here, right in the middle here, I'm gonna snip two little holes and I am just gonna use a safety pin to feed through a ribbon so that um, I can tie the drawstring bag when I need for it to be on the go. And of course, that's a really quick and simple way to make a drawstring bucket bag. Now, um, if you're creating something like I am, which is the miraculous ladybug, uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut out a bunch of little circles here. And then I just glued it on with the hot glue gun. And uh, let me tell you, my daughter was super excited to see this. You know how like when toddlers are obsessed with something and you give them something that is a representation of said obsession, their heart is just like in explode mode. Yeah, she was very, very happy and it just like made me so happy okay so next up i'm just going to fill it up with some makeup and brushes that i found at target that were on sale um i would highly recommend buying like you know cheaper makeup products because at least it is regulated a little bit better like elf and wet and wild now obviously this can be a little bit extra for an adult but i don't know i mean some adults would probably really like it too like i i wouldn't mind having a ladybug miraculous <laughs> makeup container but this one is mine which is more boho themed so it'll fit my bathroom a little bit more but the funny thing is that i do my makeup in the living room now now, so this kind of matches the living room as well and so that's it a simple container made from a cardboard box and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you're gonna give this a try please tag me on Instagram at heykl would love to take a look at the way you um, decide to make this on your own and I will catch you in the next video thank you guys so much for watching and uh, I will see you guys in the next video